It was on my lip. <laughs> Legitimately cannot believe that I am turning 26 this week. I still feel like a child, but 26 year olds are RFAs, real fucking adults. And I guess that's what I am now. Every year on my birthday, I cry because I get introspective and freaked out. I have a crisis that is my life. And I'm trying to lean into it this year. I'm just gonna let it happen. It's okay. It will be okay. I am at my childhood home. I come here kind of often and I'm still here for the next week or so. This week I have just preparing myself to be 26. Have a nice little dinner on Thursday and then running a lot of errands and then hopefully getting some new hair because I've just not been loving my hair recently. And then the weekend, I have a lot of fun things planned. So we shall see what's going on. Right now I'm getting ready and I am going to Ikea with my mom. I haven't been in quite some time, I think like two years. And she said she has some things to get and I really wanted to go. That's the thing I miss the most about New York is like going to places where I can buy a lot of stuff and like put it in a car and know that the car will carry the stuff instead of me having to drag it up the stairs to my apartment or in an Uber or on the subway. So it'll be nice to go to Ikea in a car. how I'm gonna fix this maybe if I just like it, it'll get better throughout the day hopefully I know the new year started technically two weeks ago, but I just got my planner for the year. So here are some of the goals that I'm trying to accomplish. So um, this year, I would like to post 32 videos. Whether or not I do that is completely up to me because it's a joy that I like doing. And for some reason, I keep not doing it. So I'm gonna keep uploading. And same goes for my podcast. It's fun, I love doing it and I need to do it more, so. That's what we'll be doing this year. I'd also like to read a Korean book. So a book that is supposed to be in Korean as in it was first published in Korean. Whether that's a children's book or like a young adult book, I'm not sure yet because my Korean is not great and I've never read a book in Korean. So we're gonna try that out. The next is I also like to read the Harry Potter series. So I've never read it. I read the fourth book when it came out but I didn't read the first three because I was too young to read those and then I kind of just didn't read them. But I have been in love with the movie series forever and ever. I've rewatched them maybe hundreds of thousands of times because I watch one movie every month and then I watch the whole series in October and then I watch the whole series in December. So I've done that every year since probably 2014. So yeah, it's a lot of time. So I'm gonna read the books and I, I have a feeling I'm gonna fall in love with them too. So excited for that. And then a new thing this year is I would like to watch 50 movies. 
and I've broken them down to what year and time frame I would like them to have been created. So I'm trying to learn a lot more about film and to do so, I think I have to go back and watch a lot of the classics that my dad has been telling me to watch forever and I just haven't for whatever reason. So instead of watching my same old comfort shows, I'm gonna to try to watch 50 movies. I've actually already watched two movies in theaters this year, so the goal is definitely feasible for me. And I'd also like to incorporate a lot more foreign films and then indie films as well. So that will be a really fun one. I also, so this is my uh, 2024 goals. I have financial goals, which I'm not gonna share here. And then I have monthly goals. So in January, I'd like to reach out to one friend that I haven't talked to in a while. I've already kind of did that this month, but I'm hoping to bring that into every month. Even if I don't like meet with them, I'd like to at least reach out to them, let them know I'm thinking about them because I often am. I just never tell people that I am. And then this month I'd like to celebrate my birthday, which I'm going to do today. Amazing. I want to write out all of my accomplishments at work. So I want to do that every month. So when I work at my corporate job, I often forget all the things that I've done when it comes to my year-end evaluations. So if I just write them down every month, then I'll have a whole list of things that I did. It's so much easier, but I always forget to do it. And then I wanna finish my old books. So I have books that I tried to finish before the end of the year and that I didn't last year. So I wanna finish those out so I can get to my new book goals this year. I'm hoping that every month I write some new goals. I'm really good at accomplishing goals if I have them written down somewhere and if I know that they are numeric based so I know that I've done it like reaching out to one friend it's like one friend did it check and those are the only goals that I accomplish if I keep it too vague I will not do it so I like specific numeric goals this is gonna be a good month a good year I already see it <sighs> And with that, let's get ready for dinner because it's my birthday and I'm going to a restaurant that I like with people that I love. The hair is calmed down and now I'm ready to go to dinner. I'm actually super late, but I am in my car. I'm about to go get my hair permed. I look like a mess because I just like literally woke up, but I'm excited. These are the hair inspo picks that I'm gonna show her and see if a perm will make sense for me. If not, I just wanna cut it short like it used to be back when I was in Korea. So I'm excited to see what she says. Okay, you guys are not ready for this, I think, but ah! okay, it's not fully like dried yet because she only diffused a little bit, but I mean, I have these little wispy curtain bangs and then oh, these like loose waves. I am obsessed. Also, it's really short. I mean, like, this is my shoulder. Okay, I love it. I'm gonna go get a quick bite to eat and then head back home to see my mom and see what she thinks of my hair. Yes,
here at JFK. I'm a little bit early to pick up my friends because we have a place in Jersey to stay at and we're gonna just have a super suburban weekend. I'm so excited to see them. I saw them a couple weeks ago, but still, it's just so hard to be long distance friends. I love them to death and I have such a cute, like chill weekend planned. We've done so much of New York already on the several trips they've come here. So no New York, just New Jersey, suburban, winter days, and I think it's gonna be chill and cute and fun. I am back at my apartment in the city and I'm just like reflecting on the past weekend that I had and how much fun it was. My original plan was to vlog my weekend with the girls, but when they were here, I was just like so happy and I was just having such a fun time in the moment that it didn't feel right to, to vlog all of it. But I'll tell you guys like what we did if you're ever looking for like a North Jersey itinerary. So on Saturday, we had a brunch at this really cute little French place. They had bottomless mimosas for only $18, which is so cheap, honestly. And so they did that since I don't drink, uh, I just had like tea, but the brunch itself was really good and the place was really cute and it was a lot of fun. Then we went to the American Dream Mall, which if you didn't know is now the largest mall in America. It's beat the Mall of America, Minnesota. And we did a lot of shopping and then we did rides at the Nickelodeon universe, which was really fun. And then we did a quick dinner at night at a little Italian place and that was fun. The next day we had a little bit of a slow wake up in the morning and then we did, what did we do? Oh yes, we did a little cafe, which was cute. And then we did karaoke, which is like a super big Korean thing. Like I do it all the time, but my friends don't do it as often. So I took them to a karaoke place and we just like screamed our hearts out and it was so fun. I don't drink, but we brought drinks and we just had a blast taking turns and screaming into the mic and it was super therapeutic. After that, we went to like a little arcade and we played some games there and then my mom made us dinner at her house and it was just so sweet and fun we played some board games with my boyfriend for a little bit we had a cheese board and we just had a good time on monday we came into the city and we went to the museum of sex which i had never been to before and it's really funny and definitely worth the trip if you're in the city it's a little bit expensive but it's eye-opening, entertaining, and it was just a fun group. We were with some of our other friends from school and we had a beautiful lunch at a Lebanese place, which I loved, which I will be going back. And then I had to say goodbye and it was just such a lovely weekend just to kind of round out my birthday, even though we didn't really do anything birthday specific. It was nice to bring them to places that I had known for a long time. I grew up in Jersey, so to bring them to my place was so lovely and I just love my girlfriends. There's something about having known them for so many years now and seeing us kind of become adults. It's crazy to think that I am 26 and yeah, that they're just people I know I will love forever and ever and I'm thankful to have them. And it was just so lovely. And with that, I'm gonna close out this vlog it was just such a good birthday and I'm happy to kind of move on from my birthday. That was such a blast and celebrating my birthday is something that I take very seriously because it's a time where I get to reflect on who I am, the relationships that I have, and it was just so special. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.